Alejandro Alba with the New York Daily News, and today we went to Body Labs to learn how they digitalize the human body into 3D models. And I had the opportunity to speak with their CEO, William O'Farrell. You know, typically and traditionally, the human body has been represented by measurements, you know, or, or some other proxy, a mannequin, a size chart. So what we do now is we take scan data, either from high-end, very expensive laser scanners, but, but more importantly, from these very um, inexpensive consumer scanners that are coming out, like Microsoft's Connect, and Intel has it things coming out, Google has things coming out, uh, Amazon, Apple. So we can now take consumer devices that take a scan of the human body and recreate a highly accurate 3D body model um, from that. Because we have this ability to keep things in point-to-point -point correspondence, we can apply those points to any other body. And I also got the opportunity to get digitalized myself. I stepped into an army scanner to get turned into a 3D model. We're big believers in this world of mass customization, and we feel like for mass customization to happen, for things to be built specifically for a particular individual, you need their individual bodies, their body shape, their geometry, as the fundamental building block for that. So you want clothes made for you, you want custom products made for you, you want to use it for uh, training purposes to see how your body shape changes, then you need to have your own body. And so this will enable your own body or, or, or prototypical bodies to be created, analyzed, measured, uh, uh, animated, so you can drop yourself into a video game, all kinds of things like that. We can recreate through either scanning data or measurement data any individual, uh, either a specific individual or a prototypical individual, and we can move them through a full range of human motion with complete fidelity to the way a human moves in real life.